baby. <laughs> We're camping tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NB Edits. Today, we are out in the great wilderness of northern Wisconsin, and guys, we've got an awesome video for you. We're gonna be doing something that we have wanted to do for a very, very long time. We are out on one of our favorite lakes up here in the Northwoods. We brought our good buddy, Cody Solberg, with us. Say hi, Cody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> guys, we're really excited to be out here. Well, if you look down, we have some stuff with us, guys, and this is just one sled. Here's another one, there's another one. Guys, we got a lot of stuff, but we are going to be doing an overnight camping trip. We're gonna be camping out on the ice for the next 48 plus hours. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be pretty epic. To start things off, I think we're gonna get into some pike action. If we can find them, we might try to do some pan fishing while we're out here as well. But we're also gonna be doing some walleye fishing. And guys, there's giants of all species in here. We've got big walleye big pike it's gonna be an awesome send so we're gonna continue on our trek here we're gonna get everything all set up and hey stick around probably gonna be some big fish in this one Well, you guys can probably tell from that little time lapse that setting the cots up, a little bit of a struggle, just tiny little bit. Also, uh, we both brought flooring and we both don't have enough flooring. So we got about half of the floor right now. Well, which, actually I have more flooring in the truck. He has more flooring in the truck, but you know where your truck is? Yeah. Take a guess. Yeah, it's about a, Not a mile and a half away. So, we're dealing with what we got. We got about half of it set up. We got all three cots in. And now pretty much we got to put everything in there. We got a bunch of battery sources. We got a bunch of camera gear. We got a bunch of food, heaters, sleeping bags, sleeping pillow. bags, pillows. I mean, we got it all. So I guess for the next like 20 minutes, we're going to be bringing everything in. But once we're done and we got the whole camp set up, pull the camera out, show you guys the finished product. Whoa! Take a look. She's all set up. We're gonna be camping in the Eskimo Outbreak 650 XD. Come inside, I'll show you. This thing is pretty sweet. So as you guys saw before, we had, uh, we put the floors and stuff like that in. We didn't have enough to quite fill the space. We kind of moved some stuff around, but now we have all three cots in here and we've got a little Christmas spirit going on. Take a look at these lights. I don't have them on yet. We'll plug these in later when it gets dark enough so you can actually see them. But man, we are feeling festive in here. I like this. We had to reorganize how we had these all set up. We thought we'd have a little bit more room, but between all of our power banks and our camera gear, it really just started to add up. So, and we, uh, we have a little bit larger cots than what we thought we had. <laughs> Cody's is a little bit smaller. It's a bit more manageable, but we're gonna be comfy in this thing. That's what I know. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys the setup. We won't be in this until later this evening. We're gonna attempt to go for some Northern Pike. And then later on this evening, we're gonna go for walleyes when the sun goes down. And then from there, we can sit in here, wait for flags. It'll be nice to just be able to relax. We'll be able to put the heater on. We've got tons of space in here. So we're gonna grab our stuff. Let's go catch some pike. Well, as you can see, we're dealing with a little more ice. Last couple days uh, really made everything pretty solid. We already had like a good six, seven inches out on this lake. And I think the last two nights add another inch or two. We're, we're easy seven, eight inches out here, which is super ideal. So as you can tell all year so far, well, besides the chisel, been using the Eskimo E40. Today, we uh, brought out the big brother to the Eskimo, and that is the Ion Alpha Plus. And this is the auger of all augers, let me tell you. And not only, uh, we've been using eight inch 
Today we got the 10 inch and that is because 10 inch holes are meant for really large fish to come out of them a lot easier. So eight inch, nothing wrong with it. I use it pretty much year round. But today we're giant hunting pretty much only. I mean, I say that I feel like in every video. We got heavy leaders, no more breaking off. We big got bank. big suckers. Big bank. So yeah, we're gonna start drilling some holes, get the underwater camera, show you guys what we like to look for. Um, this spot holds a lot of gravel to rock to a weed line. Um, and believe it or not, a lot of people think just weeds for pike, but our biggest pike have all come off of rocks. Yeah. So that's what we're looking for. We'll get to that in a little bit, but we're here. It's time to get slimy and hopefully we can uh, get that big girl topside. Let's get greasy. Got my Markham underwater camera. Gonna show you guys kind of what I was talking about with that rock to weed line transition. Now, Cody was so nice to already drill this hole. We go ahead, drop this baby down. You guys might be able to tell, it seems like we're on a rock right now. But if I turn it, you can see there's the rock I was talking about. There's some weeds, another rock, another rock. It's kind of hard to tell, but there are weeds in the back, uh, probably within 10 feet of this hole. And then just a couple more smaller weeds with some sand. So that's pretty much the spot that we're gonna be looking for, for these big pike. We might even maybe keep a tip up here just for some walleye, because I've never done it, but pretty much we're gonna be, well, we gotta find what, eight more holes now? We're gonna just kind of keep drilling. This is what we're gonna be looking for. And I don't know, maybe, just maybe, we can see that big girl again. First one, that took what, 10 minutes? Maybe. What do you got on here, big sucker or a big shiner? Big shiner. The it's biggest. Going, going deep. Ooh. Digger oh. is digging. Digger is digging. Doesn't feel like, I don't know, I guess this is the first pike I've caught on a rod all year. That Doesn't line, feel massive. That line's caught in the ice, just so you know. There you go. This fish is mad though. He's running. It's a good starter fish. Yeah, that's a good starter fish. First slime rocket of the trip, I guess. 10 minutes. Thought it was gonna be a little bigger the way it was running and the size of the shiner that we were using, quite large. Uh, a little smaller than the giant suckers though that we have. Uh, those things, those things mean business. But we were just talking like, man, does this like suck? We're not even set up yet. And the tip ups didn't even go. But we only got four lines in. That one went. We got a few more. I don't think we're going to set all nine. I think we're just going to stick with six and then maybe punch around, maybe try to find some panfish while we wait for flags. But 10 minutes, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we won't have time to search for some panfish. I don't know. First one felt good using the old frostbite digger. This is a medium 39 inch uh, fiberglass. And that thing. That thing handled it. It was a pretty fun fight, so awesome. All right, we'll get another shiner and see what else we can catch. Well, we gave pike fishing an honest try. We only did it for about an hour just, just to kind of kill time and do it. But now we are transitioning over to walleye fishing. We're going and getting all of our tip-ups and everything set up right now. And then once we get all of our tip-ups set up, I believe we're going to start cooking some food. We did bring some brats and some hamburgers and stuff like that with us. So that's gonna be delightful. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead, get these all set up and uh, yeah, we'll get all flags in, start cooking up some food. It's gonna be a good night. This is money. You can tell Cody's eating a burger. Mm -hmm. We set up, hold on, let me backtrack. 
we set up the smaller version of what we're staying in, the Outbreak 250, which is our cooking quarters. Yeah. Well, Cody's kitchen, shall yeah. I say? Yep, my kitchen. He's got, got his the old griddle. Rainer griddle here. Brandon, what kind of brats we got? Well, we've got jalapeno cheddar smoked sausage brats, 100% premium pork, only from Johnsonville. <laughs> Johnsonville. Well, let's pop a couple of them on here, buddy. All right, nothing better than a day on the ice and a ballpark Frank in your mouth. <laughs> That's aggressive. <laughs> God, what a masterpiece. Look at that. And if you're wondering right off the bat why I have three, it's because I really <laughs> like wieners. He's really, he's and really, I, really I, hungry. I am married, so everybody keep it clean. <laughs> All right, the old taste test. Well, it's warm. Mm-hmm. Oh, That's good. It's pretty good. That's very good. You can never not go wrong with Johnsonville brats. Mm-hmm. Agreed. I feel like you could never go wrong. Never not go wrong would mean you are going wrong. Stuff with jalapenos and cheddar. Mm-hmm. Good thing we brought some teepee, boys. Oh. <laughs> good thing none of us have gone today either. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bad news incoming. Now what? Now what are we going to do? Now we wait. Now we wait. We're going to shove our faces with glizzies and... Wait for that first blinking red light. Look, we got a tip up. You can see how far I made it into that last broad. So not very long after we got done eating. And this bad boy decided to show it, show itself. No yeah. movement though. No movement. What's up with that? What do we think, fellas? Pike, oh. I think it's a Pike, walleye. Pike, walleye, or nothing. I think it's a walleye. It's definitely here. Dig yeah. him. Got him. Feels pretty decent. Feeling walleye-ish. I wouldn't hold it against it to be a walleye. It is something right yeah, now. Yeah, it's getting late. Pike, 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 baby. He is not giving up, that's for sure. Just a little bit. Hammer handle is what we like to call those. Yeah. Woo! That's just what I was talking about in that intro, saying. Giant pike. Giant pike lake. Here we are, baby. <laughs> All right, well, absolute giant. Not what we're looking for. I mean, if it was a big northern at sundown, we'd be excited about that, but it's not. So hopefully the next one is a walleye. Oh boy. Ooh, Fish is here. That could be the nine pound crawl. We're at a decent amount of line. Um, Does it feel? Doesn't feel gigantic yet. Head the shapes. small guys maybe in first. Yeah, little definitely. Guy. Yep, little guy. Just look at that minnow. Oh, wow. Save the minnow. Save the minnow. I got him. Yeah. Right in the beak. We are using Giants. very large baits, guys. Should like very large suckers and shiners. Hey, this one had we're a shiner. Getting small ones in. No, that's not a bad sign, right? Yeah. No, that's get not a bad sign. Get this wave in first and Yep, if we can get this wave in first and then we can move on to the bigger ones, that is not bad. Come on in, bud. Might get a little foggy. We're back. Back to the crib, the home base. We've been chilling in here. We got one bar of service, so we've been watching some YouTube. Just chilling, sleeping Not in our nice shack. Oh my God, this is nice. Normally when we come out here, brutal. This is about as nice as I think I have ever fished and probably will ever fish on this body of water, which is fantastic. Fish are rolling in, not big ones, but gotta start somewhere, you know? You just can't come out here and catch a 10 pounder right off the bat. You gotta work for it a little bit. Gotta start somewhere. So, we're still in that major period. We got probably another, I think, hour and a half of the major. So, hopefully the flies can keep on flipping and we can uh, get something a little bigger. It is my turn next. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. 
so far a lot of the ones we've gone to haven't been running so clear sign you see one running on this lake after dark it's gonna be a big girl but a little time check back to the crib we'll pick back up when uh, we get another blinking red light little mid evening update for you guys I actually started to doze off there for a little bit little nap and woke up a little fresh air I'm feeling a lot better and now we got a tip up and now we got a tip up so that's pretty cool it's moving a little bit got him how does it feel does it feel bad I'm gonna try not to get this line out now it feels like it's in the weeds. Yeah. And it feels pretty heavy. Yeah. But it feels like a lot of weeds. I know. That's how my pike felt on this one. Okay. We're through the weeds. I'm just going to keep <laughs> messing with this line. This is a decent fish, I think. Unless it's just a lot of weeds. Larger head shakes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty good one, I think. Oh, boy. Weed, all right. <laughs> Try to get some of that out of there. I still haven't seen bobber even. No. Okay. I think he just came off. He just came off. He just shook it just right, just below the hole. I felt him just give one last thrash. Mm. Oh, that sucks, dude. Oh, man. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I can't even see what I'm doing right now. Huh? I can't even see what I'm doing. My contacts. Feels big. Are so dry. Yeah, it feels nice. It was ripping. I had to take it. Mine was a drop. It's not that big, maybe. Feels alright. Oh. Good size. Not super big, but yeah. Okay. Oh, just oh. drop them right back in. <laughs> wow, wow. Long. I can't even see. It's like one in the morning. We were sleeping. My contacts are dried to my eyes right now. But I looked outside, saw two blinking red lights, and got over here, and I could see that the uh, the spool spinning. So had to take it. Decent little fish to get woken up to. Still not that mega giant we're looking for, but nice fish. My hands are definitely freezing right now. All right, get a release on this guy. Snap the hook on me, so I'm gonna have to go get another hook, but he's all charged up, ready to go. Well, that was fun. Hands are cold, can't see. Don't wanna do any of this, but we're gonna. That's two tip-ups. Cody's looked like his got dropped, but that's two. We haven't had a flag for, man, hour and a half, two hours almost. So maybe we're sliding back into a bite window. I don't know, but we got a mess. Deal with this. Maybe go back to bed, get woken up from maybe another blinking red light. boy kind of looked like it started running right there swam back a little got him swam back a little I tell you yeah doesn't feel very big Ooh, okay now it feels a little bit better starting to feel better a northern pike a good nice pike <laughs> morning Woo. pike Good morning. Good morning. I love pike. Heck yeah. 
while our bite's done for the day. Yep. There he is. Nice work, Brando. Woo! Wow. Giants! That's what we like to Woo! see. Not exactly how we wanted to start the morning. Decent little pike, not a super big one, especially for out here. This one's got a lot of speckles. Look at the color in that fish. Very interesting. Well, again, we're gonna go ahead and get this guy back. We were looking for a walleye, and unfortunately, we got ourselves a toothy critter, a different kind though, northern pike. See ya, buddy. Alrighty, well, we'll see what happens here the remainder of the morning. Chance at walleye, and I guess a chance at pike. One pike, really good average so far for the morning bite. Cody says there's no fish here. So I'd like to prove him wrong. And there is a fish, and it is very large. Oh That's boy. Like to hear. Oh boy. <laughs> a lot of weight. But <clears throat> it could be in the weeds. Hard to say. Well, what do we have here? Another northern pike? I hope not. Where are we gonna get that good morning big Y that we didn't see all yesterday? It's not doing anything really. Leader. Oh, it's a big Y. Bigger. Same one I got. Woo! That's a nice one. Bigger. Look at that. That does, honestly, that does look like Cody's that he caught yesterday. Does it not? I don't know. We'd have to review footage, but. Mine didn't have the. No? Missing All right. Spine. Different fish, probably about that same, like 23 inch range. Nice, healthy. Good morning, gold. See, Cody, you always should just listen to me. You tell me, I don't think there's a fish. Well, there was a fish, Cody, and it was a nice walleye. Woo! Unreal, I don't have my bibs on. <laughs> now that's cold, my hands are cold. <sighs> Luckily we got a warm shack. All right, good way to start the morning off. Pike, one walleye. Got a lot of flags to reset and a whole bunch of leaders to redo and all that fun stuff. This morning's breakfast, meat lover's skillet. We'll see how that's gonna go. It's going on the skillet. Yes. That's what that's designed for. Yep. And then we also, somewhere in here. Oh, here they are. Of course, Johnsonville. Sausage links, but do you see that flavor? Apple cinnamon. How do you think those are gonna be? That's, gonna, that's new to me, man. Apple cinnamon. I don't know, this is a Brandon selection, so we'll have to Wait and find out is, how that is, but. The funny thing is, we have Meat Lover Skillet, and we also got Johnsonville sausages, so that's interesting. Love meat. Yeah. Sausages are almost done. Chef Cody is doing a great job. Proud of you. Thanks, brother. But what we do have is we got the skillet. And that is looking mighty good. Oh, also. yeah. That looks real good right now. Ooh, a little cheese on there. Even came with cheese. Mmm. Mm hmm. Does that hit? Oh, that hits right now. Plan of attack for the day. So we're going to mow down this breakfast because it is the most important meal of the day. And then what we have, well, obviously, Brandon and I are staying out here for 48 hours, like uh, we said in the intro. Um, with that being said, we are the only ones going to be doing that. Cody is going to be heading out here in a little bit. So we're going to probably take some stuff down, help him take it back um, to his truck, just because we have so much stuff. And then Brandon and I are going to come back out here, set some flags for some pike, and just kind of see where the rest of this camping trip goes. It's that time of the day where it's time to get slimy again. Cody 
just got back to his vehicle, helped him do all that, packing up and all that fun stuff. So we're out here going for some big pike again. We didn't really do a great job yesterday getting what we wanted. So we're back for redemption. Luckily we're staying out here and we got nothing else to do. You guys can probably tell from before this clip that we had a pike come in on the underwater camera, pick up our minnow, trip our flag and spit it. So we came over here and we're sitting here. He has not come back yet though, but he did play around with it for a while. I think he felt our, our hook, the way he kind of ate it. But super awesome to just see him come in and strike it. We were just getting the camera set up when he rolled through. Oh, there's that pike, he's back. Look at that. <laughs> Hello, buddy. <laughs> I don't think it's a mega giant, but I mean, it's a good sized fish. Can he just hit this minnow? Uh, he's, he's thinking about eating the darn camera, it seems like. <laughs> he is not sure what to think of it. I don't know exactly where the minnow is. I think it's just to the right a little, but he is definitely in the vicinity and he is riled up. So, like we said, a little bit deeper, not quite as close to the weeds, a little bit different structure here. And uh, so far it's been working, so we'll got see how long it- You just gotta yeah. eat the dang thing and actually eat it. Yep, yep, we need him to munch. Tip up. Line is, there's still quite a bit of line on this. And it feels like it took the minnow. Oh my God. Again. We have changed locations. We are switching over to walleye fishing. We're gonna go ahead and get the last light on here. Make sure that's turned on. There we go. We've got some pretty big suckers and uh, some pretty big shiners out. That's what we're gonna be starting with at least. We are slowly running a little bit low on bait. So we do have some smaller suckers and stuff like that with us, but we're hoping for a giant. So it could come right after sundown. It could come at 10 o'clock tonight. It's so hard to say with these big fish what they're gonna do. Fish have been finicky today, but we're out here chasing a giant. Well, 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 we got ourselves a blinking light. Go ahead and take the tip up light off. Moon just came out. That's kind of cool. We haven't seen that in a couple days. Let's go ahead here. No movement on it yet. Fish? No, it came off. Oh, there it is. Got it. Ooh, I must have had a little tension from a weed. It's not far. Feels okay. That's my flower. Yeah, that is a walleye. 
I got, I got him. Look at that, guys. What a beauty of a walleye. Holy cow, that is an awesome way to start our evening here. Wow, super tall dorsal, very tall back fin. Beauty of fat. a fish, very fat. Go ahead and throw him on the bump. God, look at how fat that thing is. For a 23 inch fish, holy, that thing is fat. Oh my God. That is so plump. I would have guessed like 24, that is ridiculous. Yeah, beautiful fish in the slot. Good starter fish. Wow, what a, holy. <laughs> Good starter fish, Good huh? starter fish, super excited to go back, wow. <laughs> That actually scared me a little bit. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Well, now that I got frightened and took a shower, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this guy set back up. Hopefully that's just the first of many. They might continue to get bigger. I don't know. I think something to do with that moon coming out. I think that, uh, I think that finally helped us. Oh boy. About 20 minutes after Brandon's last fish. What do we got here? Man, feels pretty nice. It's right here. Didn't go far. Oh yeah, that's a good walleye. Just a chunky, chunky slot. Beauty. Not too big. Probably 20, 21 maybe. I don't yeah, know. Maybe 21. 20. I don't know. Nice, solid fish. Alrighty. Get a release on this one right away. All tensed up. Man, they are giving some baths. Brandon's scared them. That one I was ready for. Didn't scare me. But all right. Well, bites off to a good start. Day number two. Cody's missing out, but we got another tip up, so let's get on over there and check that one out. Let's see what we got here at this old blinking light. Got him. Feels good. Feels very good. Very good. Yep, feels very good. I don't think we mentioned this in our video so far, but this very spot earlier this morning, uh, Cody and I walked over here and uh, he caught a 27 and a half inch walleye out of one of these tip ups. So that was pretty cool. Early morning bite. Brandon was too busy doing something else. So we walked over here and I helped him for his video. So if you guys want to see that catch, definitely go over to Cody's channel. We'll leave that down in the description to uh, check out that thing. That thing was a tank, eight, nine pounder, big. Big. So obviously this spot holds some pretty big fish and you're still still doing all right? Feeling everything? Yeah, yeah, he's still there. Good head shakes. He just took out a lot of line. Oh God, yeah, they always do. Big ones like to run. You guys didn't know that. Big big walleyes, they will run. A lot. Robber. He's close. Oh yeah. Tank. Tank tank. Tank. Tank tank. Big big. <laughs> We're just gonna let him run. We're just gonna let him run. Big. I'm gonna tire him out. Big wall. Ooh. That scared me. Yeah, I thought you just lost him right there. I wasn't paying attention. Time. We got time. All the time in the world, really. 26 o'clock at night. If you gotta fight this thing till morning, we'll let it. Yep. He is all sorts of riled up. A lot of power. Lots of power. This is always the scariest part when they come close to the hole. Oh yeah, that is a good fish. That is a good fish. It's got to be 27 all day. Yeah, I'd, I'd bet so. That's a big one. I just need him to calm down a little. He's so revved up. I don't like that. There we go. God, it's so close to him under the ice. He 
He is riled up. Look at him just dancing down there. He's not happy. I can't get him to just calm down. Okay, leader. This might be it right here. Here we go. Ready, Nick? Got him. Real nice. Cool. Tank. Huh. Oh, baby. Wow. That is a sow. <laughs> that is a sow, you guys. Holy crap. Like Nick was saying, pulled Jeez. a nice one out of here earlier this morning, and now we got another giant. That's that a 10 inch awesome. hole, too. Yeah. 10 inch hole, and he fills her. God, yeah, that's 27 all day. Tank. Tank, boy. Cook is out. Go ahead and put him on there. 26 and a half. Holy. Ooh, that's a nice fish. That is a Pretty damn close to the 27 that I thought it was, but. Yeah. Tank. Now they're just beautiful fish. Fat for 26 inches. We're gonna go ahead and get this big girl back. Look at that. Northern Wisconsin gold at its finest. Charged up. Charged up, tail wave goodbye. Let's go, baby. That's what we're out here for. Big mamas, ha <laughs> ha ha! That is exciting. That is my biggest walleye of the year so far through the ice. We've had some nice ones and man, that is exciting. There's always a chance at bigger out here, but seeing a quality fish like that really gets my heart racing. Check it out guys. We've got jalapeno cheddar, Johnsonville bratwurst again. Day two, same food. <laughs> Day two, same food, still 100% premium pork. <laughs> yes. You can tell our setup is a little different now. We got the mats on the inside here, not really making a difference because they all don't match up and there's a ton of water in here from running the heater all day and all night. But better than nothing, I don't want to be just standing on water, so. This would be so slippery if we yeah. didn't have these at all. We got the cots to the side now. Cody was nice enough to leave the Christmas lights. Got this open space, got the heater. It's a little more chill in here now. Yeah. But this is the first time since dark that we have been in here. We haven't been able to stop no. foot in here. No. It's been nonstop. One thing after another. <sighs> All right, well, hot dog. Brought worst. Going right on the Mr. Buddy heater. Why is that? Well, you see, we uh, we decided we only needed one grill, and then we decided that we're going to be men and stay out here for two days instead of one. So Cody brought his grill. Cody's now gone. We now have a Mr. Buddy heater roller hot dog station. I like that. <laughs> Except it doesn't roll. At least you we gotta... got the cooked ones. Yeah, yeah, no, that is nice. These are already cooked, so all we got to do is uh, just warm them up, get them a little brown on each side, and that. It's gonna be good. Well, just got my glizzy all done. Woo, we'll get a little crazy with the chip. How is it? Not bad. Not bad? Tastes pretty good after not eating anything all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we had breakfast. <laughs> yeah. But that was like... Uh, 10 hours ago? Yeah, 10 hours ago. Love that. Well, we are going to enjoy our dinner. I already ate it. We're gonna have to make another one. <laughs> Take a peek out here and just see. Whole lot of nothing right now. Oh, let me see. Let me check. Hold on. Nothing. That's all right. Give Could us you, a little break. Yeah, give us a little break, please. Like. I, I, don't get me wrong. I love it when the fishing's good, but 10 minutes is awesome. That's all I'm asking for. Good morning, everyone. Brandon and I are feeling fresh and ready to go. What a better way to start the morning by seeing a, seeing a tip up. I mean, it's honestly one of the better ways you can start your morning, really. Pretty nice salt, you can tell. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, I don't know. Kind of foggy out this morning. 
the holes they're not even frozen it's above freezing which is something you don't normally say um, when it's nighttime two days away from Christmas but here we are got them feels heavy feels like going through some weeds kind of been a trend that's yeah, a good one not super big but not super bad to start the morning that's for sure <laughs> wow Woo -wee. not super long but probably 24 maybe 25 yeah i'd say 25 beautiful start to the morning <laughs> wow. didn't get any of these last night besides brandon's chunky mama but <clears throat> same spot same big fish <laughs> it's gonna be hard to leave yeah it's gonna be hard to leave if the morning bite produces fish like this man look at that all righty that was pretty that was pretty well hopefully it won't be too long and we can get another flag here I think there's weeds, but I felt them pull. Well, that's good. Starting to switch directions here. Here's some weeds. Oh, yeah, that's nice wall. Pretty big. Yeah, definitely pretty big. <laughs> definitely pretty large. Oh boy, guys. All right, this might be it right here. Come on, turn your head, turn your head. Oh, come back. Up, 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 up. Got it? Yep. Oh, 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 oh. oh, man. Get a nice close up for you guys. <whistles> that is a dandy fish. Beauty. Oh, my. Wow, <laughs> what a tank. Good way to start the morning. Wow, this fish is eating excellent. This one's very dark in color. Super, super cool to see that Wisconsin gold. We're gonna go ahead, get her back into the water. Luckily, we've got pretty good conditions out here this morning, so these fish aren't gonna freeze up, but still very important to take good care of them. Let those big girls go back healthy. We're gonna go ahead and grab the pliers get this one unhooked. We're gonna go ahead and get him on the bump. That beast of a fish. Wow, look how thick that fish is. Really? Just shy of 26. But man, that is a absolute fatty. I mean, for a 25 and three quarter inch fish, this thing's gotta be all of seven pounds. I mean, this thing is just fat. Wow. All right. Well, we're not gonna waste too much time. What a healthy fish. That is so cool. Look at the size of that thing. It's a 10 inch hole that the thing is just filling right up. Look at that. See you later, girl. Yes. <laughs> what an awesome morning. Like Nick said, you guys, we just don't really fish this lake in the morning. Uh, if anything, we come out here like midday to do some pike fishing and then we stay out here all night going for walleye. But to come out here and attempt doing it in the morning hours, what a cool bite. It might be something we have to do more. Um, I don't know if we're gonna do the full 48 hour camping session every time, but if we can get here at sunrise and manage to punch a few holes and catch fish like that, I'm all over it, baby. That is awesome. Oh boy. Well, we did it, as you guys can tell. 
we've got both of the shacks all wrapped up and put away. Huge shout out to Eskimo because I'll tell you what, not only did they keep us warm on this trip, but man, they really think about their consumer because we've got some pretty big shacks and they actually make a bag that is heavy duty and big enough to fit everything inside of there, cinch it down. It's got the Velcro straps on the outside. Could not be happier. We stayed warm, we stayed dry and nice and easy to put away. What a fun trip, this was awesome. I'm kind of glad it's done, but at the same time, absolutely loved being out here. As you guys can see, we have a lot of stuff here that's gotta go into these two sleds. So we're probably gonna spend the next 10, 15 minutes playing Tetris, but we're not gonna bore you with that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. We caught some big fish, we hammered some nice walleyes out here. And honestly, it was just really fun to get in touch with nature and be out here for just over 48 complete hours absolute madness we had a blast and we hope you guys enjoyed it as well if you did make sure to slap that thumbs up button for us we'd really appreciate that if you guys are new to our channel make sure to hit the subscribe button because we love doing these camping videos all sorts of really unique fishing adventures while we're out here and obviously we love seeing what you guys have to say. So leave a comment down in the comment section for us. We love being able to engage with you guys. We wanna know what you guys wanna see from us for the rest of the year while we're out here. I know ice conditions are not great all across the Midwest, but guys, we're on ice. We are out here to make content for you guys. So let us know what you guys wanna see. Leave us a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. We'll catch you on the next one. Tight lines from NB Edits.